Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and today we are going to be taking a look at and using probably the most powerful computer for Unreal Engine 5 in NVIDIA Omniverse. Now, those are the two softwares I'm going to be trying this on. A couple of things. This is not my computer. This is render boxes. Additionally, I'm going to be remoting in. So this is a virtual machine. So it's actually physically located in United Kingdom but they're letting me play around with it a little bit for science, of course. But one of the things I'm gonna show you real quick is what is it? Where is this computer at? It is at render boxes. It's called their Nano, which actually if you go to products, you can customize this. Baseline is like 15 pounds or whatever. But what we're gonna be looking at right now is four RTX 6000 ADAs. This is it right here. We're going to be trying it in Unreal right now, and then again in Omniverse later. So that being said, if you want to customize it yourself, go in this website, you know, add it to the basket. I'm just going to get my wife's credit card, and then you'll probably never see me again. So again, this is a virtual machine. That means the screen might be a little bit blurry, and it's not going to be as real time as far as me clicking around in here. So uh, that being said, just be mindful of that. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to try Unreal Engine 5.2. So I have 5.2 right here. I'm going to drag it in front of me because the camera is blocking my way. And if I right click the Unreal Editor shortcut 2, I'm going to show you that this is in fact UE 5.2 right here. To get this working, we need to add dash max GPU count equals the number of GPUs you have. So we're going to start with one right now and TLDR. If you don't have time to watch this entire thing, Unreal Engine 5 can see right now up to three GPUs. If I put on a fourth one, it's going to crash. Even though it can see more than one GPU, it's just not utilizing it. And this is as of July. This might change in the future. And again, there's no documentations on this, not a lot. This is me just trying things out in here. So that's the TLDR. But with that being said, let's go ahead and test this out and I'll open up our task manager here and as you can see it is kind of delay we have an NVIDIA Omniverse and let me go to the actual stats here. so you can see that we have four RTX 6000 ADAs this is the new RTX ADAs and I just went ahead and created a simple scene right here with a cyborg that I got from the marketplace and the meta human lighting preset so you can easily replicate it. So I'll just minimize this for now. And I have a sequence, level sequence that's already ready to go. I have a camera right in front of that. And this is what we're going to be kind of testing out. And it is going to get blurry, okay? Because like I said, this is a virtual machine. So this is running on internet. So let me go ahead and go to the output log. Because what I want to do here is make sure that multi-GPU is not enabled. I know... There's something weird going on. See, it's one right now. Um, there's something weird going on that even though I have this set to zero, it's still counting the GPUs. So I just want to make sure that r.pathtracing.multigpu is turned off. And what I will do is we're going to go back to the sequence here. I'm just going to go to frame one. And right now, if I pull up the task manager, this is not going to be calculating path trace. So what I'll do is I'm going to pull up my phone and we're going to time it, all right? Because the first thing I want to do is calculate how fast this is in editor, in path tracing, right? So I have max bounce is 32, pretty much everything by default, 2048 samples, and the screen size is, you know, this big. We're going to try to keep it the same exact way. I have my marker right here. So this is the screen size right here. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to get a stopwatch and you can follow along if you want. But what we're going to do is as soon as I hit path tracing right here, I'm going to start my timer because I want to calculate how much time this is going to take to resolve 2048 samples per pixel. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. All right, so here we go. So about 1763 seconds, roughly 18 seconds to resolve 
this with path tracing using one GPU. So I'm going to jot that down seconds and 63. All right. Now we're going to, I'm going to save this and let's go out because now I'm going to go back to the properties and we're going to switch this now to two. And by the way, to get this working with the RTX 6000s, like I mentioned in my previous video, you have to enable SLI in here. All right, so you have to make sure that maximize 3D performance is enabled. So we have four right here, okay? Make sure this is on for this to work. So we'll pop it open again and pop the camera open. And as you can see, this marker right here, this is the same exact view as the other one, okay? So I'll just cancel this here, set it to zero, I'll set it to one. So we're gonna go to frame one once again, but this time around, I wanna make sure of two things, okay? If I go to the search log and I type in nodes and press enter, I wanna make sure that Unreal Engine is actually seeing the second GPU. And as you can see right here, enabling multi-GPU with two nodes. So now we're using two GPUs, as far as I know. Again, not much documentations on this, man. I'll X this out. And now we are going to type in multi-GPU path tracing one. All right, so this is going to enable now path tracing. So we're going to do the same trick. I'm going to reset my timer. We're going to lit. And as soon as I click path tracing, I'm going to play my stopwatch. One, two, three, go. All right, here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seconds. All right, so we'll go to our RTX notepad here. Two GPUs is nine seconds and 38. And I'm gonna put in three, okay? Do the same exact thing. We're gonna make sure that again, we have three nodes, which we do right here in the output log. Additionally, I just wanna make sure that we have multi-GPU turned on. And then go to one. And then let me set my timer here. Three, two, one, go. eight, nine, 10, 11 seconds. Now I spent majority of my day yesterday testing this out. And I'm getting some strange results because now with three GPUs, we are rendering slower and I think that's because Unreal Engine is really not utilizing all of the GPUs properly yet um, obviously they just said hey you can enable it now but not much stuff came out that's why I'm testing this out and as you can see it did increase right here path tracing in editor right but and this is a big but, and I can't lie. Unfortunately, what we're about to do right now is test this out rendering wise. So again, what we'll do is we'll go back to the sequence, get the camera out, and I'm just gonna go open up the movie render queue. I'll go to unsave config and have a preset here called path test test. And in here, I'm gonna add path tracer. Okay, anti-aliasing is gonna be 16 by 128. This is gonna be 100, I'm sorry, this is gonna be 2048 samples. PNG, everything's good. We're gonna do 2560 by 1440p. And again, just a reminder, this is using three GPUs, okay? And I'm gonna save this now, so we don't have to keep doing the same exact thing. And for the destination, I created a folder here called three. Select that folder, 
and I'm going to name it trois, which is three, and accept. Okay, and then I have my phone ready, and we're going to render one frame from one to two, right? So what we'll do is we're going to render this out in three, two, one, go. So this is three GPUs, path traced, 2048 samples. So this is actually showing 48 seconds on my phone, but it's only showing 37 on the screen. So there is a little bit of discrepancy, but then again, it's probably counting whenever the project opened. All right, so it's showing on my phone a minute and 40 right now. And it's showing a minute five on the render preview. Okay, so there you go. A minute 58 with three GPUs is a minute 58. And again, I'm going to go to this three GPUs, a minute 58 render. So that's three. I'll save this here. Apply. Okay. And then open it up. So now we're going to do it with two GPUs. All right, so let's grab that sequence again. Again, we just want to go to the output log and make sure that we're seeing the nodes. Yep, two nodes is good. And we want to make sure that multi-GPU is enabled. Path trace multi-GPU is set to one. That's great. Turn on the camera here. We'll take it to the sequencer. We're going to use that preset that we created. Yes. And in the output, I'm just going to change this into a different folder. All right, so here we go, 16, 16. I'm not changing anything else. We're rendering one frame here. Get my phone ready. Reset that stopwatch. Three, two, one, go. All right, so here we go. This is now with two RTX 6000 ADAs. A minute 58 with two GPUs. Interesting. So with three and two GPUs, they are roughly rendering the same time. Okay, so let's exit this out. And now we're going to try it with one. Open it up. Yeah, we're just doing one frame. Change the folder to one. Except I'm going to now reset my stopwatch. Three, two, one, go. Now we're just using one GPU. Same. Same render. The same render. A minute 58. So with that being said, in path tracing render, it doesn't matter if you have one, two, or three GPUs as of right now, currently. According to my testing right now, it seems as though that Unreal is really not utilizing the other GPUs when it comes to render times.